Hey, how's it going guys? Today I'm going to be replacing a hose that I think just started leaking. It's back here somewhere, one of these hoses. Um, the thing is, when you get a car that's been sitting for a while, you know, depending on how long it's sat, hoses are eventually going to break and stuff, and the, you know, the, the seals aren't going to be good anymore just because it's just sat for so long, got corroded. But, you know, that's what happens when it just sits. This hose was just shot, so I replaced this one. Now I'm going to replace the one back here. So the hose that I need to replace is right there where my finger's at. So this hose kind of in the way, so I'm gonna pull this off and kind of just tilt it upwards so I don't spill all the coolant out. I'm probably gonna lose some, but not that much. Just take this hose off, move this connector out of the way, and I should have enough clearance to get back there. All right, so I removed the hose, just put it over here, took off a few of the connectors. There's one here, right here, the one for the distributor, and then the one for the ground and there's another one back here it just makes it easier to get this stuff out of the way and you won't mismatch any of these they all go to one sensor so you won't like get confused which one goes where because they all only go to one place because they're all different sizes so it'll be easy to put those back so it's giving me a little bit more clearance i think i should be able to slide my pliers in there and pull back on it all right so lucky enough i had more than enough room to get it it was right here I just slipped it right over and the, the wrench fit in here, so it worked out pretty good. And I just gotta pull it off right over here. Then this hose will be out. There is a little bit of tearing right here, so that's probably why it was leaking. All right, 15 bucks later, got another hose. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on. Just connects here and the other end connects right down there. The good thing to do is just to point the um, connectors right here, the clamps that you put on right here. Um, just make sure you put these on first and slide them over to give them some room because if you put them right here it won't go over the valve or whatever you're connecting it to so just slide them over and point them upwards so it's easier for you to you know loosen them and untighten them because if it's sideways it's going to be echo hard so just point them facing up and make sure don't forget to put them on first all right one secure on there see how it's pointing up like that it'll be easy to take it off next time if i need to a little tug it's not going anywhere so that's good and this one slips right over that right there before this i think all right now that the hose is on just want to get all your connectors on all right all the connectors on right now just slip this hose back over here all right so i went ahead and added some coolant i'm gonna go ahead and start it's probably gonna drop down a little bit check for any leaks and should be good to go all right, seems to be running pretty good. Right now you just want to check for any leaks, make sure it's not leaking from what you just replaced. Add us some coolant, gonna let it heat up a little bit. Might run a little low, so keep it open. Once it heats up, then close it. But so far, no leaks. This was from before, but it's not leaking right now, so it's good. But yeah, it leaked everywhere when, it, when the hose blew. All right, just got it running again. Check engine light went away. But the maintenance light is still on, I don't know why. I mean, it passed smog with that light on, but I mean, it's just a maintenance light. But the check engine light wasn't on though because that hose was like that, but everything seems fine now. No leaks. I just had to clean off the driveway because there's coolant everywhere and you don't want that, you know, animals and stuff coming by. So, cleaned all the coolant up, sprayed it down, so that's why it's all wet on there. But yeah. Thank you, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.